Alright, the green foam is just a foam a uh, series of foam pads we picked up at like a material store, like an arts and crafts store. Um, and it's just a, another way of doing a box squat. It's more of a softer landing. Um, you actually can sit back farther into the foam. It helps for a lot of people who have problems sitting back. Because you feel the foam start to cushion you and then you can keep sitting back rather than a hard box, which a lot of people try and search for. Um, so it's just another way of using a foam box and it's a lot cheaper than buying a new one. And it makes you stronger out of the hole. That too, but that's why we use foam boxes. Questions on how much time we take between sets. Uh, that has a lot to do with how many people are in your rotation. For stuff like DE work, you basically move as quick as you can through your rotation. Usually you want no more than four people, so you should have really no more than maybe a minute of rest. Uh, accessory work, usually you move pretty quickly too. Max effort work. Usually you move a little slower, you might let your rotation be a little bit bigger, like five people, and usually people will kind of, once you usually move pretty quick, and once you start getting up heavy, you just kind of like stop and wait maybe like two to three minutes before you start the next rotation of people. So it's kind of governed by how heavy you're going and how many people are in your rotation. This question's on do we cycle our DE work with the amount of tension we use going closer to the meat? Do we go heavier tension? Typically what we do for squatting um, is we start out with band tension, then we kind of ramp up the band tension, and actually when you get closer to the meet, like the last five or six weeks, we prefer to do a lot more chain work for DE work because it has the bands will lock you in a groove, and the chains require a lot more stability, and it's more similar to a competition squat. So we use bands early on and then chains towards the end. All right, uh, we got a question on whether it's okay to use a circuit max uh, phase for squats for a raw lifter. Um, to be honest, it's, a circuit max phase isn't really a good idea if you're a multiply lifter either. Um, unless you're squatting over 800 pounds, eight, 9,000 pounds, then it, it becomes useful. For the majority of people squatting, it's not gonna be that useful. Um, you, it's just a bad idea to, to use that much tension, that much accommodation, that much contrast versus lower weights. Um, and you have the potential to go way above your max too fast and not get the work you need in and just overload your body too much and not be able to recover. So it's really a bad idea unless you have that much of a difference between what you can put on the bar and get depth and what you can handle at the top. So if you're squatting 800 pounds and you can get down with 400 in your briefs and you can have 400 pounds of band tension, and handle that at the top, then it's a good idea. Then you're getting something from it. If you can't do something like that, then you're wasting your time.